Efficiency is something that we're passionate about and we arguably operate one of the, the world's most efficient fleet of data centers already. Um, but we've also noticed that over the last few quarters, our efficiency has um, kind of leveled off. And so I challenge the teams to use the data that we have available to us, all of the operating parameters, and help identify um, ways that we can push the boundaries even further. We're constantly reviewing our performance and challenging ourselves that, okay, we know that our, our PUE is 1.12, and my team knows that one of the first questions I'll ask them is, okay, what should it be? And um, if you don't measure, you can't improve. So we kind of live by that credo. We're always measuring ourselves and always looking at ways of improving even further. We are able with our new machine learning model to achieve uh, greater than 99.6% accuracy of the predicted PUE versus our actual observed and measured. And this helps us to do simulation analysis about if I were to change this parameter, how that will affect PUE. If I were to change this on this specific day when the temperature is this and the humidity is this, um, that uh, really gives us a new powerful tool to make suggestions to the operators about how they can operate the data center more efficiently. PUE, as a measure of energy efficiency, is the largest um, dial that I have in terms of reducing my overall operating cost. The less overhead I have to support the servers with cooling and power transformations, then the, the more savings I have for the company. And as a fiduciary responsible person for my company, I have to um, always challenge myself to have the, the most cost effective operations. This model that we've developed is something that everyone could do. It doesn't require a Google to, to do or run this. Um, the model runs on just one computer, so it doesn't require a supercomputer to be able to do. It does require some diligence about cleaning your data because you have to have good data in to get a good model. And um, it also requires a little bit of, a, of a desire to dig into the way you're operating and how you can improve. So this is something that I was anxious to put out to the data center industry to encourage others to try and, and learn the same things that we did. It's really made a big difference for us. This was not an expensive thing to do. It did take one of my engineers, it was his own idea, a kind of a 20% time project. He came up with the idea that if we, we have so much data now and if we apply a machine learning model to it, it will help us to kind of identify the hidden story in the data. And so he built the model. He ran it and over the course of several months, he taught the model to get better and better and better. And now we're using it to improve our operations worldwide.